hello lolas <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys guess what i'm making another video yes guys so if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button i said what smash that subscribe button and if you're not a part of my channel membership please please give me those fry money come on now one dollar and 99 cents to join you do have to be grown at least 18 years old or older to join that chatterbox today i have baby noah baby noah Pooh is the willow asleep prototype number two painted sculpted rooted poured what else you want to say by claritella claritella dolls um and he has been in my collection for at least a year now. I'm going to go ahead and get him dressed. I know a lot of people watched my video with Nigel the other day and they were like shooting me offers on Noah. I'm like, didn't I just tell y'all people? <laughs> Girl, what? I ain't told y'all to be trying to make me no offers on my Noah pool. Listen, honey. So coming up soon, I got something to share with you guys and i'll be showing this hopefully i don't know i don't know <laughs> um maybe in a week or so um so i'm gonna do a full nursery tour i am working on the nursery again of course i'm always working on nursery and childhood it always look half done because i'm always pulling out stuff thinking i need to redo stuff it's just cluttered in here right now i have too many babies i don't have enough space i'm playing musical chairs with the babies i changed i did finally dress that child over there but honey i don't like that outfit she looked like a whole clown with that outfit on that is not her thing so that's the tea for the day we're gonna change her out of that though we're gonna stop talking about um phoebe in my videos right i know some of y'all like don't talk don't talk about phoebe poo yeah we we not gonna do that now i forgot all the whole reason why i was gonna um do this video what topic i was gonna talk about but guess what here's the tea we just gonna go ahead and get him dressed <laughs> And, um, you know, go with the flow as I always do. I, I tell you, my mind, like I was li looking at, listening to the other video that I did of Nigel. I kept calling him Noah the whole time. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I am, like I've been telling y'all for years and years, and I think it's really starting to happen for me. I am really trying to collect permanent collect collectibles. Um, babies that I will be able to keep in my um in my collection for a lifetime um and so i'm really really working on that and i um did some things um for my nursery to kind of really really uh lock that in <laughs> it's not nothing gonna really lock it in child because baby when them hands go itching for some money i'll be looking around like uh you gonna go for sale you gonna go for sale you gonna go for sale <laughs> and a you and a you and a you but anyway guys um those that might be new to the channel as uh everybody knows this uh claire teller is like my ultimate favorite sculptor artist um there is when it comes to silicone i think my favorite vinyl sculptor is uh bonnie brown hands down um then it would be like Natalie Blake. Um, I'm really getting into this Dawn. Uh, a da is it Dawn? Yeah, Dawn McLeod. I am really getting into her sculpts. Um, there are some other ones. Um, Oga Ara has a couple couple that that pulls my heartstrings. Even though, uh, never mind. Um, Audrey Stoetti. Um, I she do have some babies that I love. Um, in the past, there was a little bit of thing with the limbs being a little short for me and I you know that was like one of the things that kind of kept me from collecting some of her babies but I've always loved her sculpting um let's see um Laura Tudor Ross does some really nice sculpting I really love her silicone babies um uh, the sculpts that she does for her silicone babies but um I haven't like collected them uh they it looks like she has been working on the pour on those so that's pretty nice um but yeah ultimately if 
your money is right and you can afford, you know, like to spend and you're wanting, don't mind spending the money, definitely when you go into the upper price ranges, I really feel like um, Claritella is, is the go-to. Um, I was really like um, loving um, Melanie by Romy Stridum. Um, but, and I, I still, I still love the kit. I, I mean, the sculpt, I still love it. Um, maybe one day second market, I might get my hands on one or something like that. But at the end of the day, um, painting wise and stuff like that, um, that's usually not my choice. So you probably rarely hear me speak about Romy, um, Stratum dolls, uh, but she makes cute faces and that's just the thing about the art like if we're gonna love some stuff and and not like some stuff and it's kind of hard to get everything in one big package we want it cheap we want it nice we want it sculpted good we want it painted good but we got about 150 dollars girl what <laughs> so yeah it's it's like you know trying to get everything for what we got to spend is so hard sometimes trying to make it make it work um and you know i've listened to a few people rant and rave and stuff like that in the community and i get it um you know when i make little comments or say little things like oh you know claire tell is the best painter in the world type thing <laughs> people get in their feelings and i get it i get it because Listen, hunty, when you when you say something about one of the artists or sculptors that I really, really love, like um I seen where somebody posted something about Bonnie Brown's uh sculpt, it bothers me, honey. It it, it really does. I ain't gonna lie. It made me feel some type of way. <laughs> but guess what? At the end of the day, we all do it. We all have something to say. Where is the button for this thing? Like, that's that, but where is the button? Uh, is that it? Girl, let me find out. Okay, I'm over it. Where is the button for this? Like this. This this really go here? Let me see. Y'all finna, finna be making me mad. Ain't nobody got time for all this, Noah. <laughs> But yeah, I get it because I be in my feelings. If you wanna if you wanna take me off, say something about the sculptors that I love. I be getting real mad, honey. You you will think that me and them people don't sit down and have coffee together. Like So like even though I might be like, Yeah, you know, I wish they do this and I wish they do that, you know, I still have a lot of respect. I got some red on my hand that's getting on his clothes. Um well it's, I know what it is, it's color from the silicone uh paint but anyway um <laughs> that's what i get i be painting i be trying to squeeze in videos i be trying to do too much at one time but yeah um what was i saying <laughs> oh, i forgot i don't know but anyway yeah Although, yeah, although I be saying I wish they do this, I wish they do that, and all that stuff, I really have a lot of respect for all the the sculptors and all the artists. Well, I ain't gonna say all the, I ain't gonna say all the sculptors and all the artists because some of them ain't. I ain't got no respect for them. Like that's garbage. <laughs> okay, let me stop. But for real, but for the most part, yes, because it's hard to do what they do. I don't see how they sculpt child. I'm going to try it one day just, just to, um, make y'all laugh. But, um, it's a lot of work painting and all that and stuff. And so somebody asked me the other day, they said, I thought Nigel was your favorite over Noah. Um, and I, I don't know if I can really necessarily say that completely. Like, um, he is, like, he does pull my heartstrings a little more right now. Well, he had been, but I've been spending a little bit more time back with Noah. And so now, you know, it's like, winning back up his spot. But um, the one thing about it, 
is that um Nigel I don't know it's just that he has a, a unique painting style and I really really love the way he's painted like he's painted to perfection everything about Nigel is like perfection um and he has that nice texture that I love um Noah is rare in his form period there's like like to get a dark african-american baby painted by claritella and be a boy you know that's rare all in itself and the fact that he is actually cute and don't listen baby don't come for me because uh y'all live for the tell me he ain't cute but um <laughs> but yeah and he cute so it's like that's like you know one of those things not saying that her baby's gonna be cute but i'm just saying to get it all in one it's kind of rare and kind of nice and so i don't want to let him go and not get him back because child i'm already still hurting over my pup y'all better stop playing with me listen honey when i tell you i still think about pup i still look at his, go back and look through his pictures i still follow his mommy and be like oh my pup pup was like the most perfect baby to date like Puck is the most beautiful painted doll I ever had. Like, I I mean, he is just amazing. And I sold him. Try listen, I sold him, honey. I sold, I gave him a wave, like, giving away your firstborn. I did that. I did. But, <laughs> you know, it's what us collectors do sometimes. But, needless to say, um, I don't want to go through that again. So, I'm not willing to part with with Noah um and and go through that same thing um because it's just hard and then not only that like okay y'all know the story some of y'all that's been around for a while um these artists they change up their paint styles a lot and some of them do. Some of them try to been painting the same way they did from the day they started. But that's a whole nother story. And I ain't trying to throw no shade. Okay. Um, I'm just saying. But what I'm saying is, is that some artists like to switch up their painting styles. And what happens is you be chasing the new and you be really hooked on a particular style. And then the artists don't paint that way no more. Because they decided that this new way is a better way so they think or so a lot you know they're going off of you know what they like and it might not be what you necessarily like and so when you sell your old baby <laughs> you can't necessarily replace that because they don't paint like that no more like when i got serena her paint style was a, a little different from well a lot different from the rest of these babies and it was like one of my favorite paint styles but claire don't necessarily do it that way um the way that she did used to do her fingernails and stuff like that is a little different um although she d still does similar um and i love like like noah i love the way she painted him like he has so much detail in his back and his you know he's modeled all over he has beautiful veining like he's amazingly painted but He's different from the way Serena was painted. So, like, you know, you get what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's kind of good when you collect the old and the new. But, you know, sometimes it's good to just hold on to a few of the gems that you really, really love. Look at my baby. Oh, I'm so tweet. You tweet, baby. <laughs> I'm like, yes, mama. You got to hold on to me. Don't let them help us get me. <laughs> they don't treat me right. <laughs> Mm, and that's another thing baby it's a hurtful thing when you let your baby go and then you see it just be passed around like musical chairs and oh child lord it's just you be like i know it's just a doll but child you be in your feelings sometime but i'm gonna tell y'all a secret and don't judge me for it and don't take this the wrong way but um a lady contacted me and she was saying you know oh well you know you if you sell Nigel, you know, you can always say, you know, give me the first to buy back and all this. I'll be honest with y'all. There's a very few, very few and far in between occasions where I want to buy the baby back. Child, once they gone, I be doing all this talking. But how many uh, 
silicone babies y'all ever seen me bring back here. Child, when they gone, I be over it. I ain't gonna lie. I, um, I be a little hurt when I gotta put them in the box. I be hurt when I go to the post office. I be hurt while they traveling. When they reach their mama and their mama say it's okay. Oh, I love it. Da, 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 da. And all everything go good. And that money is clear for me to spend or put it in my savings, back in my savings account or checking account or wherever I got it from. Child, I be like, whoo, child. Okay, baby, next. So, um, I don't want to tell y'all that lie. I ain't going to be faking phony and tell y'all that I be grieving over the doll for six months because that's a lie. <laughs> I kind of be over it. Like I said, the only baby that, there are a few babies that were sentimental or, you know, I had to let go that I didn't really want to go let go at the time. But I had to for financial reasons or whatever, personal reasons. And then I kind of feel some type of way about them from time to time. But for the most part, mm -mm, child, I, I don't like Mm -mm. I, I let this hobby do what it do. I let it be what it be. It's they at the end of the day. I love them. I love my babies. Y'all know I do. Um, I'm over the top and extra with them. But at the end of the day, they dolls, and I treat it as such when I make a sale. Child, when that money come in, that money come in, <laughs> baby. Look, <laughs> cause I ain't gonna lie, baby. When that lady told me, um, told me that she would give me, um, pretty much full price of my asking price for Noah. Child, I, I had to, it took me a few minutes before I responded back to that. I had to swallow everything I had in me to say, um, yeah, no, he's not for sale right now. But I was thinking to myself, oh, Jesus, take the wheel, take the keyboard. Because, <laughs> baby, look, Noah almost was in a box, honey, packed with all his things. But at the end of the day, I'm great. I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm okay. I'm gonna make a decision at some point. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it do what it do. Um, a lot of times, what happens when I do this type of situation where I go back and forth? Usually, somebody comes through that I feel comfortable with, and then I, I just go ahead and sell the baby. That's how I usually end up falling for me, to be honest. Um, that's just like Puck. I had just said no to a thousand people, and then his new mommy message me and I just took down all the stuff that he wasn't for sale and all that stuff and then when she messaged me I knew who she was I know she don't usually swap her babies around or sell her babies around and I knew she loved her and I was just like okay and I went ahead and did it and I don't regret it but I do miss him you know what I mean but I don't regret it um I'm glad that he with somebody that really loved him and can't appreciate um, Claire Teller's, uh, artwork on him. Although he was sculpted by Lillian, um, he was painted by Claire Teller and it, uh, the painting itself is what really, um, made the sculpt work pop for me. So, um, yeah, that, and that's, that's a thing too. I used to love to see Claire Teller paint, you know, um, the Lillian sculpts and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, we're, we're constantly changing. People are getting busy. You know, people doing their own thing. So, you know, you got to go with the flow. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. I hope that you guys are loving yourself more than anything. Remember that when you give out good energy, you get that back. Well, sometimes people still treat you dirty. <laughs> Baby, listen. But somebody else going to treat you good, so you still going to get in. Wait, did he just move? Oh, shoot. Lord have mercy. I need some coffee or something. I'm starting to hallucinate. Y'all tell me if y'all seen him move. Because I, I swear I seen that dog move. Lord have mercy. Okay, let me turn this camera off, honey, child. This is why these people call us crazy. Now I'm seeing the baby move for real. I told y'all Noah is a real boy. I see him move a lot of times. Blank his eyes and everything. That boy is real. He is real. When I take... Woo! Okay, Lola's. Bye.